talk about everything Play music in between Tune in on Sunday to my underground scene Talk, talk and music You know what I mean Tune in every Sunday Chance Underground Hello, how's everybody doing out there? You are watching Chad's Underground Scene. We are here at beautiful Venice Beach on a beautiful sunny day. And we are at the Radio Venice TV studio. And our guest today is Michael. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? How's it going down here in Venice? It's nice. Um, you know, I cannot complain. I have to say sometimes I forget about how blessed I am sometimes to have this view while working because you get all involved with the studio and your music, but then the inspiration is good. Yes, thanks for doing, for doing this. Um, I'm very good today. Thank you. Playing music all day already, so do some more right now. Ah, oh, that's awesome. So uh, how's the energy down here? How are things going? Well, um, Besides all the horrible things that are happening in the world and everything, and of, of course bad things happen in Venice as well, creatively it's doing really good right now. Um, people seem to have a bit more time to really get into it, and so we have been doing some great Radio Venice shows, also for Burning Man and everything, and also in my studio here we've been working on some great records. Um, um, I mixed a few records, I'm working on new material myself with El Duelo, and so yeah, it's fun, it's good. Awesome, I so mean, keep on hanging, keep on being creative and playing your ass off. Awesome, so let's start with a song All right. by you, Michael. Should I play a song? Mm. All right. Cool. Um, to start out to warm up, we're going to do a little diddly. This is, um, of my on my Zeitlos album and it's called Precious on My Mind. Precious is a guitar. I, I explain this real quick. Precious is a guitar built by Thomas Delgado from Candela's guitars. Um, he builds the most beautiful, wonderful Spanish and uh, flamenco guitars. I have a couple of these. Um, the first guitar I ever bought from him is Precious. And so when I'm in Europe, I miss Precious. So I wrote on Miss Lucy the song called Precious on My Mind. That's a love song to that guitar. Awesome. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to do one here. This is uh, called Peach Spratt's Tavern. And uh, this is an actual true story. This is a true story about a, uh, a club that I played several times. It has uh, now changed names, and it's the Black Thorn. So uh, I'm going to play this song, and it's in, uh, a friend of mine named Pete Spratt, is what this song was written about. It was his bar and pub that I went to and played and hung out at a lot. 
and he's also a good friend of mine. We hang out, he's gonna get married in Vegas in just a few weeks. Well, that happened to me. <laughs> and this one's called Friday Night at Pete Spratt's Tavern. Here we go. Friday night at Pete Spratt's Tavern. Irish whiskey homemade shit. Draft beer flows like wild honey. You don't stop. Till 2 a.m. You'll find a girl goes by the name of Rosie. We know her well. Rosie, you're oh Rosie. New guys fall in love with Rosie. Buy her drinks from 10 till 2. Burns them up on the little dance floor. She don't stop till 2 a.m. She likes to drink cheap whiskey and a soda. We know her well. Rosie the rug cutter. Till 2 a.m. You'll find a girl Goes by the name of Rosie We know her well Rosie, oh Rosie She likes to drink Cheap whiskey and a soda We know her well Rosie, the front cutter Yes. <laughs> and uh, here we are at Radio Venice TV Studios. So tell us a little bit about your show and how it works and how to tune in. Well, it's RadioVenice.tv. We're live every Sunday at 4.20 p.m. going all over the world. So we started this out five years ago. I was thinking about how I could utilize this studio a little bit more. I also was um, kind of inspired by uh, Daryl Hall's um, show, Live from Daryl's House. So there was a little bit of the idea that I had originally, and then I thought, like, I can do something like this because um, I work and I play with a lot of great musicians in Los Angeles or people even that come visit from all over the world. So we started out, and um, like I said, I said Sunday at 4.20 might be a good time. We just started it out just with a laptop and a lab cam and everything, and then, but I ran it through my studio. So this place is rather special. For many years, there's been so much music being made here, so it's kind of charged. So everyone comes here, um, feels very comfortable, and it's sounding really good. So um, I thought, yeah, let's start this out. So I started with a few friends. Isaac Irvin, for example, is doing the Venice Open Mic, was one of the early ones. And then I started doing this, and, and was I have a, a partner with Ray Stanton. She's actually doing this from Australia right now, by and by Australia, and Barry Conley. Are working with this together we got a great production team um, now when COVID hit we were able to switch rather quickly to working and switch to multiple studios so we have Venice as the mothership and we do have musicians here but we don't have like as many guests here anymore we used right, to have yeah. huge parties here there was like there was a seven piece band and 30 people partying in the kitchen yeah yeah um, when I did the show we had four musicians and then we had a bunch of people back here watching that yeah yeah so that that is kind of fun, fun I miss yeah. that but this will happen again one of these days yes but yeah. so to be somewhat responsible of course so um, Ray our, my co-producer she's running the show from Australia so she's switching it all and we have some great artists from Australia over there that have people from Europe over there so it comes all together so the idea is um, Venice as a melting pot for musicians from all over the world and so we could we're able to put us out there and I'm really blessed 
um, I got a bit of a bucket list of musicians that I wanted to have on the show. That did you want to get, yes. <laughs> and there's still a bucket list, but a lot of the bucket list I have checked. Has been filled. So, some of nice. the multiple times people came back. Just Sunny War. I had Sunny War here Sunday. You know, she's she's one of my favorite musicians. Micah Nelson, Particle Kid, Alice Hall. Um, we got Prince Giabati, Alok Das Gupta, like uh, we had oh, Flamenco, Sitar Maestros, we had unbelievable people here and then also people that no one knows and they're unbelievable, right? Everyone has their own story to tell. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And uh, first of all, I'm a guitar player and all the other stuff, sound engineer, producer, or also radio host is all secondary, but it all comes together in a beautiful way. I meet new musicians, great influences. Yes, it's good. It has been good, right? And it has been in times of desperation, in times when everyone goes, where's the music industry going? Spotify is not paying anything for nobody. No one's making money. So people have been coming here, create, play music for the love of it. Yeah, and the important thing is sharing and having a good time. That's yes, yeah, yes, and doing for the love of it and communication, you know. All colors, shapes, races, religions, whatever, have been here making music together. And right now we need that. We really yeah, need to, to feel absolutely. some togetherness and absolutely outside yeah. of touching right now because music we're not allowed to do that, right? So music and art is a communicator also with so much hate going on in this world. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah. We need to have more love and more connection. More love, more, yeah. love, more love, more music, yes, absolutely. Okay, so let's jump into a song together, unrehearsed and just jamming it out. Unrehearsed, that never happened. That never happened. E minor, F,
Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's what we're talking about. Nice little jam there. We'll call that one We're Not Lonely. <laughs> I'm not indeed. So, Michael, tell us a little bit about your music and uh, also how to get your music. Well, um, and you tell know, us I about some... a history of some different things you've been on. I, I am a little bit on Spotify. Let's turn that amp off. Do you, uh, just oh, okay. Yeah. For the thing. So, I think you turned it on right now. Is that possible? Set it off. Oh, okay. Middle. No, it's a two-way. It's, it's a cuckoo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, music. You know, most of all, I'm a guitar player, so this is very sacred, important for me. My craft. And I, I do have um, five solo albums out. They are all on Bandcamp under Michael Yost. You can find them on other platforms too, um, iTunes, and some of it is even on Spotify, but I don't want to get so much into it. I do like Bandcamp as a um, platform for musicians. First of all, it gives um, more of the uh, proceeds to the musician than other platforms, and you also can download high quality um, uh, files. So. The way I created when I mixed it, it's the same resolution that I give it out. You can download. You can do also smaller if you don't want to load up your phone too much. But that's that's the really part, the high quality, so it's not going to be compressed down to anything, right? I feel like MP3 is a terrible thing. Oh yes, yeah, I do so, too. So I'm a, I'm just like you can do like the full <laughs> the wave files that you want. So um, and you know if you take pride in how the music sounds, and I did take a lot of pride into mixing, creating, and the tone that you get, not only the playing and the pe people that play on it, you want to do it justice. So yes, all of this is available on Bandcamp and I have different albums like Zeitlos, California Burning. Some of them are a little bit more with electric. I love rock and roll, I play electric guitar, funk, jazz, all that stuff, psychedelic. But then I have a record, California Burning, which is a little bit like this. There's some great players on there, a little bit rock and roll, lots of psychedelic stuff. And then, um, I have another album called Sightlos, which is mainly acoustic, mainly like Spanish guitars, also like Spanish music influenced. I'm not, I'm not doing flamenco, but I take sounds from there and sounds from there and mix it all up. So that's what I like to do. Uh, but I take um, the studio sounds really special, and I was happy. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. We have some amazing musicians playing, like Matt Demerit on saxophone, and some of the Stanley Barons, and you have see there's like great people playing on it. So, yeah. so, so speaking of the wave files versus the MP3s, I had a fun experience years ago with my kids mm -hmm. when they were younger. I always have CDs, and I always had a car that had a CD player or a cassette player, and they would go, "Why do you put that thing in there?" There was a point where they, yeah, yeah, they everything wanted. was electronic, everything was MP3s, right? And the, I go, because CDs are so much better. That, then they were looking at my stereo in the car and going, why does it sound so good? How come that sounds so much better? <laughs> and then sure, and I explained to them, I go, that's a big wave file. See, even CDs are shit compared. Yes. Because the 44.1 sampling rate, 16 bit, yeah, yeah, it's no, not, that it's limits not you. enough. It it's limits not you. enough. So and, and we got cut off in the prime, right? Because in the 80s, they had gone to the bigger and bigger files, and they started making the gold CDs, yes, yes, which were huge files. And then that's when the MP3 started coming in, and they yeah, they yeah. exnayed that and said, "No more of that." <laughs> you know, it is, it is, it is what it is. But um, I feel like, um, you know, if you want to for. You know, I work also like if you have to send out a track real quick to do a commercial or something, just send it real quick to have someone check the mix. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. is fine, just so you can send people on the phone for convenience yeah, oh yeah. and quick. You know, it makes me happy, I don't have to. You know, I work with a lot of people, I have to. The, the waste you create when you burn them for every little song, every little rough mix is CD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so just sending in and that's what the I MP3 do too, yeah. to, to, the, to the phones, that, that therefore it works. But I feel like to really um, consume the music, you know, um, it's nice to have. And the, there Big is a difference. File. Yeah. The 24 bit, 48K wave yes. file is better. And I, I record like this, I mix like this, so I would like people to able, be able to hear it like this if they care. Right? Yeah. And yeah. actually, I'm also trying to make music, you know, with all that stuff, um, Spotify, etc. All these people creating a, a quick product, the quick download for a fraction of a cent. I'm not interested in that. It's not, it's not good for anything. 
I'm, I'm trying to create art. I would love to take actually everything off the internet and just have it all vinyl. Oh, and have it all yeah. vinyl, yeah. yeah. Or something that would be fun. But, you know, internet, you know, um, I'm, I work, I have like a hybrid thing between digital and analog. I would do all analog if I could, but there's good things about digital. You can do in Pro Tools and stuff. It sounds so that whatever you put in, it comes back. While if you put something on a digital analog tape machine, it's making it a little bit prettier. Um, yes. So yeah. I feel like you have to even spend more care with the tone that you hit your uh, the Pro Tools with. So if you care this, you can make really good sounding recordings, but also want people to hear. So that's why I'm not trying for the quick product. It's like, hey, take some good headphones, the good stereo, smoke a joint, and listen to this. Right? Yeah. So so I have probably probably about 12, 10 to 12 records over my career that I did all analog. Yeah, sure. And then I have some that are a split. They're analog, but the new way they do it now, a lot of the studios, the one studio I go to, he takes it from the analog, puts it onto Pro Tools, sure. and then you do single tracks and put it back on the analog. Yeah. And it sounds pretty much the same way, but it's a lot quicker process. Yeah, also like because you know, the analog process with the tape the whole time it takes a lot, takes time, a lot yeah. of time. Yeah. yeah, but you want you want the analog tape compression. And that's yes, what, what that's what you want. That you is you get that, that warmth sound. and just a good feel. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny you mentioned uh, vinyl. So I did my show about three weeks ago. I had a guest on, and uh, he gave me a single of his band, of vinyl. <laughs> Nice, yeah. And I'm like, wow, there's still singles. I forgot about singles, right? Because yeah. it was always the albums you got, right? Sure, sure. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. And it was super cool. So 4019s was the band yeah. that the single was for. Good, good. The That's guy cool. was John Poser that was on my show three like weeks it. ago. Yeah. I like it. It's a good one. Okay, so hit us up with another song. Should that that first one was fantastic. I love Let it. Let me see what I'm going to play. Well, so the first one was all in major, which doesn't happen so often for me. I like the sound. The press stuff. So this is a waltz. Uh, Ooh, I, nice. I wrote it in Berlin. It's called Berlin Waltz.
Lovely, that's awesome. <laughs> that's what happens when you smoke a lot of meat. Ah, it's beautiful you come up with that. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, okay, I recommend, smoke lots of weed. <laughs> I, no, I don't want to say anything what they tell you, but there's definitely worse things to do than that. Oh yes, yes. I definitely, whatever you do, if you stay with organic, it's way better than anything else, right? <laughs> oh yes, yes. So that's awesome that you mentioned the minor chords and stuff. That's I'm going to do a brand new song that I haven't performed before. And this one is called Bootstrap Cantina and I used a couple of minor chords in it. Because <laughs> they just it's sound so good, bar, right? You do. Bar, it's another bar. <laughs> well, you're writing your song. back a few times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's usually the fun part. It's like going to Hollywood. It's the best part is going back to the beach. <laughs> yes, that is it. Same thing with hell. You know, <laughs> gotta come out of this shit here and there. Oh yeah, and uh, we're in a little bit of hell right now, but everybody have a little faith. I think we're gonna come out of this and well, I, and hopefully, and I think we're all gonna be better people because Anytime you go through struggle, you usually come out a better person and 
you have a little more appreciation for what you have and what other people uh, have. So let's do a uh, another jam, and then we'll close out the show. How about like some E minor, two G? Nice. Okay. One, when you get lost in the middle, make sure you got a cool ending, right? Yeah, that's it, yes. <laughs> and look important while doing it. Awesome. <laughs> or if that, that fails, hit the wah-wah pedal. Hit the wah-wah, yeah. <laughs> so this There's something, <laughs> I think we need to turn the amp off. Oh, right. I'm feeding it back, nice. <laughs> always now that was the best ending, a little feedback, right? Yeah, right, rock and roll. Just rock and roll. <laughs> Right, okay, set. so uh, here we are at Venice Beach, and uh, tell us one last time exactly how to get on your show, how to get your music. RadioVenice.tv, it's all there. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, everything. If you can, go to a YouTube channel, subscribe. And um, But RadioVenice.tv, we got a great website. We got hundreds of shows um, lined up there, archived with incredible musicians from all over the world. We're going to be back on this Sunday. 420, we got Magate on. He's uh, one of the original drummers of the Black Panther soundtrack. And I have some West African music and so much more. And yeah, and we're really proud. Just join us, spread the word, subscribe to us on YouTube, all you get. 
is a little email every time before we go on air. That's what we do, and we're gonna have some great shows planned, good stuff coming, and we meet all these people. I met you. Yes. All oh, yes. Yeah. All happens through the show. Thank you so much. Yes, and find Michael Yost on Bandcamp. Make sure Michael you Yost, get. I got a, I got also on Instagram. Um, guitar Yost or um, also guitaryost.com is my website. But if you find me on Bandcamp, everything is on there. There's a, a November 6th, Friday, November 6th, is Bandcamp Friday. This is one of the days they do every other month where all the proceeds go to the artists. On RadioVenice.tv and our Instagram and everything, we will promote all the artists that played on there, put their records on there. Yeah, support us, support independent art and music, and thank you for doing this, spreading the word. Yes, and remember, everybody, get out there <laughs> and watch music online, like his show. That's a good way to go to get your live music now, because we're not seeing so much of it out on the street. If you see it on the street, check it out. There's a, I've been seeing some music out on the street, and that's... That's worth a listen. Get out uh, there. Yeah, if the music box, Billy Stover is doing the music box microstage, which is a box, plays in Venice and all over the place. We, every Friday we're out here in Venice on Windward. It has been becoming really a beautiful part of being able to share live music outside, yes. And watch the show, watch all our shows. We're going to bring it to your home, right? It makes you, wherever you are in the world, it, it can be for 20, wherever you are. Put it on a big screen, big speakers, um, burn one down, and it will be fine. There you go. And you can come down to Venice anytime and find your your uh, best guitar player in the world that's been yeah, around yeah. forever on his roller skates. It, we we a, passed him on the way here to come to your studio. Yeah, well. How long has he been down here? Uh, probably longer than I am. 40 years? Longer, longer, way longer than I am. He's <laughs> yes. been here. Uh, yeah, well, he's an icon on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody, please st take care of each other. Be nice. Yes. And Go help vote. anybody that you can find that, that needs some help. Go Reach vote out. if you haven't done so yet. Yes, absolutely. And I would like to uh, thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you, Chad's Underground Scene. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> Thank you. We talk about everything, play music in between. Tune in on Sunday to my underground scene. Talk, talk and music. You know what I mean Tune in every Sunday 